Today I'd like to show you a new blueprint set that I've made for those of you who are looking for a simple highway support with the option for some customization if that interests you. Okay, so right here I've loaded in the support itself and you can see it's pretty simple in the basic design. Make sure to incorporate some basic lighting and it supports up to four wide foundation on top by default. Now, I really feel like this set of blueprints is going to be most beneficial to someone who doesn't already have a worldwide highway network and would like to get one done expeditiously. And including in the set is road blueprints so that you can attach these supports to something. I have two variants. One is going to be this set right here, which has railings on the side. Very simple and the other just replaces the railings for basic concrete one meter walls as the edging. And that's it, that's all five blueprints. Now, you'll notice that two of the blueprints are only three long instead of four, and I'll explain that with the snapping in just a second. But I wanted to make sure this was a pretty simple build and it didn't require too much to get into. I'll make sure to put the awesome shop requirements on the screen for each blueprint along with material cost, and if you guys don't have everything already that you need unlocked in the awesome shop, just make sure to go hunt some creatures early game if you're struggling for tickets. The DNA capsules are really good early game for getting those tickets fast. Okay, and now I just want to go over the snap points for these. Uh, it's pretty easy, but I do want to make a couple points. I would recommend choosing whichever straight version you would like, whether that's the one meter concrete walls or the railing, whichever one you prefer. And you're just going to find out where you want these to snap to. In my case, it's going to be like right about here. I'll make sure to line it up at the foundation edge. And now you can see that snapping on the side of the foundation, it's all sorts of smooth on the uh, Z axis as well. And you'll see this is only too wide, but these blueprints are uh, built so that you can mirror them. So if we go into blueprint mode here, look on the side of this one and we can rotate it. And now we have that four by four. And the nice thing about this is that you can keep snapping it with blueprint mode off of each other and build out. And now is where we can go in and snap our supports. We're going to grab out our support blueprint here, and you can see it snaps directly into the middle. But if we go out of blueprint mode, we can just look at the roof and it lines up perfectly. The best thing about this is you can use nudge and the easiest way to make sure it's lined up. If it's on the edge of the foundation here, as it should be, this should also be in line with the like middle of the texture on the wall. So these little textures right here are the edge uh, of the walls meeting. We're gonna wanna make sure that this is in line. You can see when it's pretty obviously not in between. So we're gonna place that down. And from here, you can use blueprint mode and snap, and you can make these go in sync like so. Or if you'd prefer, you can rotate them if you would really like. One thing I will point out is that if you wanna use blueprint mode on the uh, underneath side, you can, but I think in this version of the game, it's still a little bit buggy with the nudge, and you're supposed to be able to nudge eight ticks over in any direction. But if you notice, this would be the eighth tick here, and it says max nudge distance, which is a little unfortunate. So maybe in 1.0, we will have this fixed, and things like this will not be an issue. But as it stands, uh, this current set of blueprints cannot nudge eight times, only seven, which is kind of unfortunate because it makes lining up a little bit more difficult. But like I said, if you just follow that advice of lining up the edge of the blueprints with the, like in the middle of this box, you'll be perfectly okay. And before I go, I wanted to share a couple different examples, all kind of combined to actually see what it looks like at the end. And this one here on the left is the second version with the concrete walls on the end, as you can see. And this is kind of what it would look like if you did your sports every so often. Then we have the technical first variant with the handrails on the side, and this is kind of what, a, what it would look like. But I did want to show you guys that doing some slight customization uh, is totally on the cards with these. So on every support, if you were just to add a uh, half foundation of four meter, or you can make this full foundation, whichever one you prefer. Uh, you can just kind of add little outposts every so often, uh, or you can even use them to make walkways in between on these sides, uh, on the outskirts, however you like. There's a lot you can do with these blueprints that I've kind of provided. And please remember that you can always load up any of these blueprints in the designer, change them to your liking, edit them, whatever you want to do, color wise, material, whatever and you can save it as a brand new blueprint for yourself. And if you guys are interested in getting these blueprints, just make sure to join the Discord. There'll be a blueprints channel that you can go select any blueprint that I release. And if you want access to every single blueprint we make on our Let's Play save, I do have a Patreon for that. But I think that's enough of yapping for me today. I'm going to leave you guys with some final shots of yeah. this highway in action, just to really yeah. show you what it can do at scale. But until the next one, peace. Yeah. I'm slick with words, tongue sharp, you left in thirds. 
You pitching verbs, I knock it out, I'm flipping birds. While smoking herbs, I'm blocking out what often hurts. I'm moving herds, it's me, my family, money, merge.